This is Neat and Mixed from Hops and Spirits. Welcome back to another edition of Neat and Mixed in the Wild. As you can see, we're here in Porto Natale's Chile, Southern Patagonia, the Antarctica region, because we're what, two, three hours away from Antarctica? We're yeah. far south. We're, yeah. we're very, very far south. Very far south America. A little chilly. We've had some adventures, climbed some mountains. I fell off a horse. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. By the way, this is uh, <laughs> your boy Brandon. Yeah, your boy Brandon, Jonathan. <laughs> and how are, are you and the horse on good terms now, though? Uh, we listen. We we had a rough patch, just like every relationship. Got off to a rocky start, but we we worked through it, and we're good. All right, we're good. that's good. I'm, I'm glad we to hear that. We bounced back. We bounced back. That's good to hear. Yeah. And we're trying something new here. Mm -hmm. Normally, it's always bourbon. We're going with the tequila aged in bourbon barrels. This is the Dos Primos tequila. <laughs> And Yeho. And Yeho. You had to help me because <laughs> the West Virginia in me was not coming through. We've had some fun talking Spanish down here here and uh, struggling. So the, the boy from the 606 in Kentucky is helping the West Virginia boy out. I like it. You know, so. so this is, uh, like I said, Dos Primos Tequila in, in Yeho. It's uh, founded by Thomas Rhett, the country music superstar, and his cousin Jeff Warren. This is their third variant. MSRP is between... Uh, I think 35 and 55, but I think that's for the other two variants. Gotcha. I'm assuming this one's going to be a little bit more because, like I said, it's aged 13 months in used bourbon barrels. So, you ready? I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> we'll we'll okay. see how this goes. Yeah. I'm going to do a little smell. Whew. It's going to yeah. be different. It's going to be different. It's going to be warm. Well, we need that. It's cold here. Yeah, that's true. That's oh, not what you were expecting, was no. it? No. I was expecting the pucker face out of that. <laughs> like, holy. That's really I mean, now there's there's some burn on the backside, but like tequila shots. Yeah. You feel like you make that face, your hair stands up. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. not what this is. Yeah, I was expecting, yeah, way worse. I was expecting, yeah, mm, not that. <laughs> so now, now it's interesting because if you, if you can't see it because I'm using this Asian or uh, travel bottle, which by the way, awesome. Yes. Only thing is, we couldn't bring any glasses. Note to everybody: not sponsored by H Nor, but you know, but we had to do this because of TSA rules. But we got tequila in a foreign country. So, exactly. um, thoughts on the smell and kind of what you were tasting? So the smell for me, obviously, you get the normal tequila smell. I get a little of that the sweetness mm -hmm. uh, because of the bourbon off of it. Now it does. It smells worse than what it tastes. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. It really does. Um, but again, man, it's good. I know. It's really good. And and because we're in the wild, there's no mix this time. It's just neat. And this is kind of interesting because I feel like the bourbon in the bourbon barrels it melts it out. It does. It, it, you know, it adds a little sweetness to it, but not too much. And it kills the burn. Oh yeah, the there's no burn on that that initial down. No. Um, and like you said, you get the sweetness. You get that the what you would expect maybe mm -hmm. from something aged in bourbon barrels. Yeah. Yep. And this is good tequila. That is really good tequila. You, I could just take that on the rocks. I know you're the mix guy, but I mean, uh, this might be on the rocks. Yeah. <laughs> you could just you could just pour a glass of that on the rocks and just roll with it. Because this is a super premium. Uh, yeah. tequila but especially with that that age statement now we do the whole review here clearly we like the liquid yes i said the price point the variants are between 35 and 55 but i've seen the uh, six month uh, age the resposado uh, go for about 50 55 so i'm guessing this one might be up around 70 or more just because of that 13 month age statement correct for tequila that's going to be definitely on the higher side correct. what are your thoughts on the whole thing well for me i'm not the biggest tequila guy in the world uh but you've been dabbling more though i have been now i will say with this i would buy that it's, it's if it's in that if it's in that price range now if they don't get crazy with the price but if it's in that say 60 day range i'd buy it for sure it's it's Cause just different it's something that you know everybody's got the just the regular bottom shelf or you know kind of that middle of the road tequila at home this is one of those higher end ones that you can you can drink it by itself and for us for being sure. bourbon lovers, I think this is a good step into the tequila world. Yes. Do you, do you, I mean, yes. you get those, you definitely get bourbon. 
the the flavors, not the, the, the bourbon. But, right, right, right. right. But, you get and the, you get a tequila that is pretty damn smooth. That's that's one of the that's probably top four smoothest tequilas I've had on Abby. Honest, yeah. seriously. If, if if it's a tequila that I can just do straight tequila in a glass with some, you know, some ice, you ain't got to put it in a margarita or anything like that. That's that's good stuff. So you're a yes. I'm a yes. I'm a yes because I, I think this is really cool, especially 13 months aged yeah. in bourbon barrels. So remember, if yes. you're uh, watching this on TikTok or Instagram, uh, follow us, like us, and also subscribe on our YouTube to yeah. see the full review. And yes, cheers. cheers. Find more from Hops and Spirits at hopspirits.com. Thanks, everybody. Bye.